everybody so this is the haul that I was talking about in my last video um <clears throat> it grew it got bigger I was only going to talk about um, my elf purchase in this video because I did order some stuff from elf um, but there's also a couple other things that I want to show you so I will start off with the other things and what I want to start off with is um, this beauty organizer I got it from Walmart. Um, it was seven bucks. Um, you can get something very similar to this on elf.com, but it's gonna cost you fifteen dollars. So this was seven dollars. So I'm gonna get this one. Um, just black, um, three compartments. I got it for my brushes um, because my brushes have gotten out of control, and what I'm holding them in right now, it doesn't work for me anymore. So I got this one, the three different compartments, so I can break them up. I'm gonna do like face brushes, eye brushes, and then like lips or something like that. Um, so I got that, and I'd had my eye on it for a while, so I went ahead and got it. And then the other things that I got that weren't Elf were the two um, Eco Tools. Um, brushes. <clears throat> Eco Tools was doing um, a promotion not too long ago where you send them um, old makeup brushes or bath poofs or or it could be new stuff or whatever just gather up what you have and send it to them and they do like a recycling kind of thing so that's what I did and they sent me two coupons for free Eco Tools so both of these were free the coupon was up to a $7.99 value so and if you know Ego Tools, you know these things are expensive. This one right here was seven dollars, <laughs> and um, this is the Bamboo Blush Brush, like this. And this one is the Bamboo Finishing Kabuki Brush. Um, and the Kabuki Brush is kind of cool because it's got, you know, it's like a regular Kabuki Brush, and then you get up here, and it's it's like a stippling brush. And that's why they call it the Finishing Kabuki because it's like once you're done with your makeup, you can swish this and kind of give you that polished look. Um, and then, like I said, a blush brush. I um, needed another one of those, so I got both of those. They, um, I think both of them. This one was like six ninety eight, and this one was like seven twenty nine or something. Um, I got this one at Walmart, and I got this one at Walgreens. So, yay! I was excited about that because they were free. Other than that, the rest of the stuff that I have is Elf stuff. Um, I do want to mention before I get started. In my last video, I talked about the Elf glossy gloss, and um, I said if you wanted to know about it or whatever, just ask me, and you did. So, um, the glossy gloss is amazing, amazing. If you love a matte lip color, I guess I say matte. It's a gloss, so you're still gonna get a shine. But I say matte because it has no shimmer or sparkles in it. So if you love a good matte color in a lip gloss the glossy gloss are definitely great like the um the one I got is berry I can't remember what it was but the berry one is amazing it's my favorite one you can um I use it without any I just use the gloss normally I'll put on a lipstick and then put on a gloss over it I just put on the gloss it's got beautiful color it doesn't need anything else so I highly recommend that one. Um, the other one I got, I think it was Dragon Fruit or something. It's a nice gloss. It's a nice gloss. It, the color doesn't punch through as well as the berry one does, so I would put that one on with a lip gloss. But if you're looking for just a great lip gloss, period, whether you like matte, shimmer, sparkle, whatever, the Glossy Gloss is amazing. Definitely check that out. And for $3, I mean, you can't beat it. It's, it's my go-to gloss. It's, you know, you wake up in the morning and you're like, well, what do I want? It, it's it's amazing that one's amazing so moving on to my purchases the elf um I had purchased a lot more but I think my what I didn't get I guess got out of stock before they could send it to me so I was a little bummed out about that but I guess I'll start off with a little free gift that they send you when you recommend people it's another one of the brightening eye colors and this one is um this one is an ivy and um it's got a dark green right here and a light green right there and then um two browns so ivy and the brightening eye colors are really nice they're really nice for everyday look um the next thing i got was the um contouring blush and bronzing powder here's the packaging and here's the actual compact. I've already used it. It's amazing. I love it to death. If you can see or if you can tell, because I put it on this morning. I'm wearing it now, but it's like, what, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I've been on the go all day, so if you can't really tell, it was on there. But I love it to death. 
So, and that's what it looks like. You got your blush over here and your bronzer over here. And it's just great. It's great. It's a wonderful bronzer. It's got shimmer to it, so it's not a matte um, bronzer, but it's not so shimmery that you put on your face and you're just like sparkle mania. And the same thing with the blush. It just gives you that nice color. So, that's amazing. And, um, I guess they, they compare this e.l.f. blush and bronzer kit to, uh, the NARS, I guess, I think it's Laguna and Orgasm, the Laguna bronzer and the Orgasm blush, so, for three bucks, not bad. The next thing I got was the, um, let's see, matte lip color, here's the packaging, I got it in coral, matte lip color, the studio line, again, three bucks. And here it is right here. Comes like this. Pull the top off and there's the color. And what you do is you just twist it up and down. And um, this one right here is truly a matte color. Um, there's no gloss to it, no sparkle, no shine, no shimmer, nothing. It's truly a matte coral. Um, looks like that. If you can see it. So, um, it's a nice, nice color. I like it. Um, I do pair it with a gloss though because it's I don't know if it was just my first time using it or what but it was a little chalky on my lips so I put it with a gloss which made it a lot better but um the way it went on my hand just now it just glided on and it was wonderful I don't know if it's my hand <laughs> or if it's my lips or what but um you know if you want to try it out definitely um it's three bucks you can't go wrong it's it's really it's a nice nice color and it's a nice little um nice little cosmetic um the other one i'd like to get i think is a praline but they're always out of stock in that one so it must be pretty good so if you can try that one try it but the coral is really good too okay and then the next thing i got was um i got a brush um this is just the studio um stipple brush um i just like the stipple brushes like i said with the um the Kabuki Eco Tools. Um, I just like them as like a kind of finishing tool. You know, after everything is done, just to kind of um, run it over my face to remove any excess and really blend. Or uh, I have this one blush that has like really sparkly, shimmery stuff in it. Kind of get some of that off of my face. Um, that's what I like the stipple brushes for. But really, um, they're good for just about anything: powder, bronzer, blush foundation a lot of people use these for their um their more wet cosmetics like their foundations and um tinted moisturizers and things like that they'll use these and they're pretty good for that too this one's really soft and it's amazing and lovely studio line three bucks so you can't go wrong with the studio line everything that i've tried from the studio line is just amazing um and then another, the, another thing I got was um, an e.l.f. lipstick. I'm a little bummed out about this one because I ordered um, this stuff just recently. It's been hot lately, and I was worried about this stuff melting in the mailbox. And my lipstick kind of did. Yeah, kind of messed up. But um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about it. I stuck it in the freezer, and it was fine. So... I'm not, it's a, it was a dollar lipstick. I'm not going to go through the hassle of sending it back to them and all that good stuff. Like I said, I put it in the freezer for about 30 minutes and it's fine. Um, anyway, this one's in Captivating. It's actually a nice orangey coral color. Um, it's a wonderful lipstick. For a dollar lipstick, it doesn't get any better than this. This is wonderful. Um, I have another one of these and I think it's in Classy. And these are just really good lipsticks. If you want to try the e.l.f. Essential Line lipsticks, they're only a dollar. They give you amazing color. You don't even have to, this one I probably wouldn't wear with gloss. You could just put it on by itself. It's that good. So I was happy about that one. Other than that, I got um, one Hyper Shine lip gloss. This one in Joy. And it's just, it's, it's kind of like a pinky, nudie, I don't know. It even looks a little brown if you like a tan if you you look at it a certain way it's got shimmers in there um it was just a different color that i didn't have and um it was a dollar so i got that one and then i got four luscious liquid lipsticks i'm in love with these the luscious liquid lipsticks you can't go wrong you cannot go wrong because they're like a lipstick and a lip gloss 
they're amazing they have great color great color you can wear them by themselves or you can pair them up with a lipstick they're just amazing all the way around and I love them and they're a dollar a piece so I got strawberry which is like a reddish color um it's got a little shimmer in there a little shimmer in there I got bark which is a light light brown color um and it's matte there's no shimmer in there no shimmer in there I got nude pink which I'm very excited about it the um the name is pretty self-explanatory nude pink um no shimmer and oh another brownie points um I love brownie points brownie points is probably my favorite luscious liquid lipstick um it's just a darker brown out of all the browns in the um, luscious liquid lipstick line brownie points is the darkest one and it's got um it's got like gold shimmer to it but i love it to death it's amazing um i have it on my lips now mm. and then the last couple of things i got were from the mineral line uh, mineral lipsticks the packaging looks like this it's a white box and um this one is in bare brown okay let me tell you guys about this lipstick this is the most amazing lipstick I've ever tried in my life. I'm so serious. The mineral line, um, the lipsticks are five dollars. Okay, yeah, that's way more than I want to pay for a lipstick, especially when you can get them for a dollar. But let me tell you about this lipstick. I love this lipstick. <laughs> I would marry this lipstick. This and in this color, bare brown. Um, I have it on too. I put on the bare brown and then I put the brownie points on top of it. And this lipstick is just so amazing. Um, you can wear this by itself too. You can wear this by itself. It goes on so smooth. It's beautiful color, and um, I just I love it to death. I just I love it so much. And the mineral, the mineral lipsticks, they're so because they're a mineral they're made from minerals they go on they glide on um and like i said it's amazing color and there's nothing in these if you're worried about that there's no parabens no preservatives and no chemical dyes because it's mineral makeup if you buy mineral makeup there's never anything in them and if there is stuff in it then it's not true mineral makeup and usually mineral makeup costs more so i wouldn't pay more for stuff that's not true mineral makeup but mineral makeup is the best stuff that you can put on your face um so like i said no parabens no preservatives and no chemical dyes in any of the mineral products um, so I definitely recommend min the mineral lipstick especially in bare brown I if you're interested in brown if you know if you want to try mineral lipstick and don't know what color to get get bare brown I love it to death um, I don't know what else to say about it it's amazing and I love it now on to um, a less happy topic I got another one another mineral lipstick and this one a natural nymph and uh, because they were out of the nude and I really wanted the nude so I was like okay I'll get natural nymph um it's it's a nudie color it's a little lighter than the um the nude nicely nude I think it's called but um I was like sure whatever oh I would have swatched that bare brown for y'all that's how the nice the um, natural nymph comes out it's oh, it's like a nudie, almost has like a pink undertone to it. My issue with this lipstick is amazing lipstick. It still goes on wonderfully. It has great color, but it kind of erases my lips. It kind of erases my lips. Um, so this one, I'm going to have to find a good uh, gloss to put with it or something like that. Um, anyway nothing bad I'm not bashing the lipstick because the lipstick is amazing the color is just not for me it's just not for me but let me swatch this bare brown for y'all oh it's so amazing look at that it's so pretty I love it I love it I love it I love it so I'm in love with that I'm not even gonna put it back in the box because I'm in love with it okay and the last thing I got was mineral lip gloss comes in packaging looks just like the lipstick and this one I got in Eau Naturale. It looks like this. Okay. Comes out like this. And let me swatch it. Looks like that. Rather. So it's like um 
it's like a nudie um, shimmery brownish uh, lip gloss um, I haven't tried it with the bare brown um, I'm thinking if I put it with the bare brown it'll um, definitely lighten the brown a little bit make it a little more shimmery um, I did try it with the natural nymph and that was a no-no um, so um, I have to mix and match with um, this gloss um, I like it you know I like it as a gloss I probably won't get au naturel again because um, it, it doesn't really have um, that much color to it so you know you would think that if it's not a clear gloss it would have a little more color to it but that one doesn't anyway I mean it's, it's still good gloss so if you want to try it in au naturel go for it um, but that was all I got yeah, that was all I got. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. If you have any questions about any of the products that you saw here or um, you aren't sure about something or you just want to comment, tell me how great this video was, I really appreciate it. I'm open to all suggestions and comments. Um, and um, I just thank you for being wonderful subscribers. And I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.